Plato was a Greek philosopher and founder of the Academy in Athens, one of the great philosophical schools of antiquity. Plato was born in Athens, Greece, the son of Ariston and Perictione, both of Athenian noble backgrounds. He was given the finest education Athens had to offer noble families. He focused his considerable talent on the subjects of politics and the writing of tragedy and other forms of poetry. His affiliation with Socrates, one of the founders of Western philosophy, changed the course of his life. The destruction of the Peloponnesian War left Plato in a troubled position. Plato welcomed the restoration of democracy, but his mistrust was deepened some four years later when Socrates was tried on false charges and sentenced to death. Plato was present at the trial, as we learn in the Apology, but was not present when the poison was given to his master, although he describes the scene in clear and touching details in the Phaedo. His productive years were highlighted by three voyages to Sicily. The first trip to southern Italy and Syracuse took place in 388 and 387 BC, when Plato met Dionysius I. Dionysius was then at the height of his powers in Sicily, for having freed the Greeks there from the threat of Carthaginian rule. When Plato returned to Athens, he began to teach in the Gymnasium Academe. He later acquired property nearby and founded his famous academy. Plato had begun to write the Dialogues, which came to be the basis of his philosophical teachings. The Apology and Crito stand somewhat apart from the other works of this group in that they deal with historical events, Socrates' trial and the period between his conviction and execution. Plato's own great contributions begin to appear in the second group of writings, which date from the period between his first and second voyages to Sicily. Socrates is again the main character in the Republic, although this work is less a dialogue and more of a long discussion by Socrates of justice and what it means to the individual and the city-state. Plato's third and final voyage to Syracuse was made some time before 357 BC. He tried to influence the young Dionysius II. Plato was unsuccessful and was held in captivity, but eventually released. Plato died in 347 BC, the founder of an important philosophical school, which existed for almost 1,000 years. His system attracted many followers in the centuries after his death, and resurfaced as Neoplatonism, the great rival of early Christianity.